the idea in connecting with you is that you've been on this journey with your father and that was a big motivator for you to come in and make sure that others had resources available and to help them with that journey. You know, you think you know what you do, but you don't know till you know. And I got to know by going through the aging process with my parents and watching them age. Um, and it started with my mother, where she was having good periods and bad periods, episodic congestive heart failure, where some days were good, some days were bad. So I ended up getting help with her when she was in the hospital because I would get ready to go home and just feel like, oh, I just want that extra set of eyes and ears beside her bed to make sure that she's okay. So it started with her. Um, we lost her, and then my dad was alone, and he was like, I'm going to be okay, you know, I'm okay and I don't need help, which is the plight for many families. And then he needed a hip replacement, and I said, okay, well now you must have the care because you need somebody 24 hours. So I sort of snuck the care in there with him, and I've had what we call live-ins on with him for seven years to take care of him, provide him companionship, um, fix meals, keep him entertained, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. How did that personal experience then inspire you to make sure that others had resources available? It made me realize what it was like to have caregivers in a home, how they impact the individual, how you want it to be a good experience. So we upped our regulations on who we hire. The state requires certain things and we advance that because we want to get good caregivers. Um, really important to get good care caregivers that go along with your loved one and that's a match. We want it to be a good match. So we do everything we can to screen and look for the right person for the right patient. When people start this journey, maybe when adult children are starting this journey for their parents or for other uh, relatives, a lot of times they don't know where to start. Right. Um, what I tell people too, and I talk to people all the time about this, you either plan for this journey or the nanosecond in life happens. The nanosecond in life is everything is beautiful today, grandma falls and breaks her hip, Guess what? Life just changed for grandma and it changed for the family because she used to be able to drive and do everything for herself and now she can't. So I advise people with aging parents to start looking at options now. Don't wait till the nanosecond happens and then you have to react. Um, and certainly home care is a really good choice because I think people like to age in their own home and like their surroundings, like their church, like their friends. So home care makes that happen where they can age in place and still enjoy all the things they did for years. For a lot of people, the, the aging in place and home care is, is really what they would like to find. A lot of people find stumbling blocks to be able to pay for those things. Sometimes costs can be a really big factor. Yes, it can. Um, home care is expensive. There are people that are on the Medicaid system that Medicaid pays for it. There are some people that have been very astute and gotten long-term health insurance for their parents. Um, that pays for it. So we always try to check out what that person's resources are to see if there are resources to help with the payment. And for many people, when they start to discover that there is an, an issue or a need, they may be kind of on the fence thinking it's all or nothing. Is there a spectrum of care? Yes, we do everything from two hours a day. Some people just need a bath or a start in the morning. Um, some people need 24-hour care. So you can choose two hours, four hours, six hours, eight hours, 24 hours. Really you have uh, the choice is yours to how much care you need. I would imagine that all kind of care and at least addressing the issue and, 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 and helping uh, relatives in this, this way um, can be beneficial. But you guys particularly find, I would imagine, that in-home care can make a really big difference. To be a caregiver is hard. It's hard on a family because they have to change everything about them. And we live in this two-people-working society where everybody has to be engaged. 
Um, not that you don't love your parents. We all love our parents, but we're all busy. So the peace that comes from knowing that you have a nurse in there taking care of somebody, it's a good feeling. It gives just a sense of, okay, I know somebody's watching. There's somebody that I can call to say, how's my dad doing today? What did he do today? You know, tell him hello, just whatever you want to do to speak to the nurse and know that somebody is there with that person. For folks watching who maybe are in that position where the nanosecond has changed, everything's changed mm -hmm. in that nanosecond, or for the folks that are planning ahead, but they don't know how to start the process, what are your words of wisdom? I say start exploring options. Um, if you're thinking about home care, look at credentialing. You know, what kind of credentials does this company do? Ask for references. Ask to meet the employees before they start with your parents. Um, there's a number of ways that you can kind of look around to see how things are going. And um, social workers in hospital are very good resources. We get tons of referrals from them because their job is to make sure that you're okay when you go home. I'm sure you have folks that call you or talk with you and get in touch with you every day that can really attest to what a difference it can make to have that care available. I do, and you know, I have so many doctors calling me. What should I do? You know, they know a lot of things, but oh, their mom just fell and broke her hip, and they don't know what to do. It's pretty amazing. And I try to guide anyone that calls me, and my company tries to guide anyone that calls me, calls them to the right solution for their parents. If people are unsure in, and they just are, are just starting out, how, how can you identify what that solution is? You can try different things. Um, home care is not going to be the answer for everyone. It's an answer for a lot of people. Assisted living sometimes is the answer for people. And we try to be extremely honest. I don't want to sell you home care if what I really think is you need an assisted living and that's going to be the best place for you. And you can do trials in assisted livings. You can do trials with home care. You know, you're not obligated for anything. You can try it for two hours, see how it goes, a day, a week, a month, and you decide if that's working for you. This time of year when, they are, when families are getting together and then you're getting that call, what are some of the hallmarks that you hear pretty regularly um, that things may be changing and it may be time to explore another option? Help. <laughs> My mom has changed. Um, I'm around them more. They're not remembering things. Oh my God, they left the stove on the oven. It almost caused a fire. Um, just noticing big changes because you're around more than you used to be, especially if a parent lives out of town. Um, Debbie, when, when folks are just starting out with this and they really are overwhelmed with not knowing where to begin or what's needed, how does that process work? We have a nurse that will come out and make an assessment of your loved one. They will also talk to the doctor, talk to you, and just try to figure out what the needs are from a physical standpoint, emotional, spiritual, and they do that. And they're very good at observations and connecting with the patient's doctor. A lot of folks may feel that it's an all or nothing endeavor, and you guys actually do have a spectrum of services that people can take advantage of. There are a number of um, payment sources, and I don't know that you can put a price on the peace of mind that you get for having a nurse with your loved one. And they may not necessarily need 24-hour care. It can be as little as... We can do two hours a day. We can do 24 hours a day. We can do it once a week, three times a week, whatever the need may be.